He's killed a bear, caught lots of fish, that's swayed by party politics. Independent healthcare pro running for Senate, Dr. Al Rose, Alaska's own bear doctor. <laughs> Alright you guys, so first things first, y'all know I am not a journalist, I don't do this, I report on street fights and fights at the fair, fights at the mall, I, I report on y'all hood rats acting like hoodlums. All this politicking going on, I don't report on politics, I vote. I do my duty and I mind my motherfucking business, okay? What we're getting into today is, ugh. They're not boomers, but they're children of the boomers. And the boomers children are acting up in these streets. <sighs> Your parents should be so, 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 so disappointed in you. This is something you hear about on Scandal. I don't even know if the gladiators can jump ahead of the story. We gonna get into it. Shout out to the Anchorage Press because they did do a pretty good job breaking the story down. I got evidence from different places, so I'm gonna try to make this as cohesive as possible. I know a lot of people that I talk to don't know the full story. It's just little bits and pieces going around. But the Anchorage Press, let me see who wrote this story. How do we know who wrote a story? Why is there no name on here? I'm trying to give you a shout out. The Blue Alaskan is where it says right there. Is that the is that the name of the person that did the article? Yeah, this shit says the Blue Alaskan. Is that an alias? I don't know. I'm not really that tuned in. But they did an outline of everything. I'm just gonna get on here, explain, give you some commentary. Um, but first things first. I believe Ethan Berkowitz has children. Do you have a daughter? Do you have a daughter, Ethan? I'm gonna look up and see if Ethan has a daughter. Ethan, eat Berkey. Come here, Berkey. Give me a hug. You're, you've been having a long. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Come in. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I know. I showered. Okay. You, okay. Give me six feet. Okay. Corona. First things first, Berkey. Uh, this message is to you. I can only imagine how embarrassing this can be. It's it's only right that at this time. Okay, Berkey. I know. I don't condone violence. I don't condone getting revenge. I believe that you know karma and life. That the whole situation. You know. But. In this specific situation, somebody has to beat Maria Athens' ass. Somebody has to whoop her ass. Your daughter, your wife, your dog. Hell, call your nieces and nephews or somebody. Somebody has to go take some MMA classes and go WWE that ass. There's no way that this woman would do something like that to someone in my family and get away with it. I'm sorry, that's just not how life works. But this is politrix. We have to play the game. It's just real messy though. It's real, real, real. Real, 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 real sticky, icky, icky. and I don't know. I, I don't know politics like to the point of like, how do you come out of this scandal? Maria's done for, but she still needs to get tagged. So let's go from the beginning. Maria Athens is a wannabe Emmy Award winning journalist. I don't know if she's won an Emmy yet or not, but I hope she already won her Emmy because the Emmy she talks about in the voicemail, I don't think she's gonna get now. Baby girl, <laughs> you ruined it. But long story short, she was doing an interview with a cookie business lady oh wait a second hold on all this is alleged say it with me alleged even though I'm reading it from Anchorage Press I'm saying alleged because I don't have a lawyer on retainer all I have is a friend that went to school and she got a justice degree and the intention was to go to law school but I think we're doing something else with our life now so don't come after me I don't have anything but 60,000 in school debt and a new car that I can't afford but yes everything's alleged Maria was doing an interview with the businesswoman and she asked the question of, what do you think about the mayor, Berkey? And so the lady asked her, is he short? And then I guess she answered whatever. The businesswoman then comes out and says her daughter used to escort non-sexual for a man that used to work at, um, for the state of Alaska, and he was also short. So the mom put two and two together and she assumed that it was Berkey. In her mind, I guess it made sense. And then we get this video. There we go. Hello there, Maria Athens from Fox ABC CW Newsnet National Alaska. Breaking news, according to reliable sources, Anchorage Mayor Ethan Berkowitz has his male genitalia posted on an underage girl's website. Coming up tonight, Fox 4 News at 9, ABC News at 10, CW News at 12.30, and Newsnet National for sure will cover this. You heard it here first. Thank you. Okay, I hope that... Sure it did. 
I'm not one to label people druggies. However, there was a poll that went up on Twitter that I saw, and there's a screenshot right here, and it asked, how much do you think that Maria played with her nose before she posted that insane Facebook video? And I will say the facial expressions, the tone and the speed in talking, I don't know her reporting, so I don't know if that's like a normal thing for her, but it just sounded very, All right, so after that was posted, she then posts this, which was a picture of behind his head, and she's like, proof, whatever. Doesn't really show proof of her allegations, but she's the reporter, not me, okay? So then the mayor's office issues a statement basically saying that, you know, she seems unwell, <laughs> which I agree, and it's not true. Okay, cool, whatever. <laughs> Let's move on, dust the shoulders off, we're good. Oh, but wait, the first photo wasn't enough, so Maria then goes back and posts the full photo, which I'm not gonna post because me personally, I wouldn't want that posted. No matter what I did, I wouldn't want my nudes posted, so I'm not gonna post Berkey's. However, I will say he did have a long ass day, and it's fine, it's fine. If that's nothing a few squats won't fix, Berkey. I have a great trainer in mind. I don't go to them because they're expensive, but I'm pretty sure the mayor's salary can handle the bill. Maybe we can see there's a two for one special. So yeah, basically Maria posted it, and she was like, you know, maybe the first lady, she said no. She said maybe the killer first lady can confirm if this is her bathroom. It was this navy blue towel, I believe. Side note, the whole killer part was not called for. However, I'm not gonna lie, I did read an article, which if I find it, I'll link it in the description below, the YouTube uh, description, about how the first lady did get into a car accident. It was like really weird. So yeah, y'all go read it. I'm not here to report on that. Going back to the story, the businesswoman that alleged that her daughter was an escort, the daughter, um, somehow, someway, Anchorage Press got a screenshot of a text thread to her mom, and she says, did you call that lady and tell her you had the wrong guy and that you confused him with someone else, question mark. And then the mom said, she didn't answer, I tried, and I also called the station. The mom basically goes on and then says how she has an agenda, and the station um, fired her, she thinks, whatever, the video's viral. Daughter said, what video? Mom said, it's on Facebook, whatever. Okay, so after that, the FBI and APD launched an investigation. They found out there was no misconduct, whatever. The girl came out on Twitter and said how her mom had everything mixed up and she was an escort. She was over 18 when she was an escort. I believe she also confirmed it was non-sexual. But yeah, she basically goes on just to denounce everything. Beautiful girl. Um, she ha she has OnlyFans and she's doing her thing. I support, you know, I'm OnlyFans positive. Do what you gotta do. God made me look like a bag of bricks because he did not want me to have OnlyFans. If I indeed had a six pack, y'all would Y'all would see all of this on OnlyFans, uh, but I'm built like a sandbag. Going back to the story, then a comment on Reddit appeared, according to Anchorage Press, basically saying how the mom, the business owner, she's almost schizophrenic, they said, and, and the biggest like tip was she had major connections to Kreiner's Diner. If you don't know about the Kreiner's Diner situation, when Miss Rona first took off and uh, became relevant in, in the US, everybody was closing down, but, Kreiner's Diner, and they made like a whole protest. They were really like going off about, you know, Ethan Berkowitz and how he handled the whole COVID situation. From what I know, a lot of places were hit and affected by the way that the mayor handled it. The restaurants and the businesses that the mayor's invested in, people feel have gotten special treatment and they feel that rules were made to appease those businesses. Everyone's been upset with the way he's handled it. I totally understand, but Kreiner's Diner was very big on their protesting and exchanging coronavirus fluids while the restaurant was still open for dining and just completely breaking the rules, a bunch of anti-maskers getting together, congregating, having church, great. So that's all that um, I got from Anchorage Press from that article, which I'll also link in the description. Other things that unfolded, after she posted the first photo with Berkey's, um, the back of his head, I believe she got, I'm not sure with what sequence this happened, but Maria also got fired from her job. Um, while she was getting fired from her job, she wouldn't leave the premises. A physical altercation invoked and she ended up um, getting arrested. She was arrested, there was also a voicemail that was sent the voicemail was kind of disturbing. I'm gonna play a little bit. Shout out to Alaska Landmine. Their page is on Instagram. Make sure you guys give them a follow. Let's listen to this voicemail. Ethan, it's Maria Athens from Fox ABTTW Newsnet National Alaska. Uh, I just learned through my uh, Emmy award-winning journalism, you're also a pedophile in 
like little girls and children, and there's a website. I'm so fucking exposing you. I'm going to get an Emmy. So you either turn yourself in, kill yourself, or do what you need to do. I will personally kill you and Mara Kimmel, my goddamn self, you Jewish piece of living fucking shit. You have met your match, motherfucker. You have met your motherfucking match. I can't believe I am such a good person and thought I loved you. I fucking hate, I don't even hate you. I will pray for your Zionist fucking ass, you piece of shit loser. And I'm putting this on the news tonight. Bye. Have a great Friday, you motherfucker. So many questions. So in the beginning of everything that happened, I my first go to my first thought when I first saw the Facebook video, I said this is deeper than this little girl escorting. This is deeper than her exposing the mayor. I was like, I feel like they had some inner workings. I feel like there was some dealings that were not appropriate. He listening to the voicemail. She's so upset at the thought of him cheating on her, but he's a whole married man and she has a fiance. <sighs> But towards the end, she says how she's such a good person and she thought that she loved him. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. And so once I heard that, I don't feel bad for either party. I still feel bad about the, the news being leaked, but I don't feel bad for either party because number one, Ethan's a married man. Number two, according to what I read, she has a fiance. They're both cheating. What is done in the dark comes to light and you deserve to get your ass handed to you in that way because I don't, I do not, uh, you're married. I don't need to say anything else. This voicemail confirmed it. And after the mayor put out a statement saying that, you know, she seemed unwell, the allegations were not true. The allegations weren't true about the minor. But he then comes out and says that he and Maria had a messaging relationship that was not appropriate or whatever. I don't think that it was just messages. The way she came at him in the video, the way she came at him on the voicemail, that was not just messages. She was pissed. She was mad as if she was the wife and she got cheated on. So I don't by that but then I hear that the mayor resigned and I believe it was rightfully so he I mean I don't I, it's it's really number one it's a tough time to be a mayor number two that's not something that you can come back from at a time like this I think that's the rundown that I have Berkey you gotta get somebody to tag her because there's no way that someone's going to do this to me and get away with it but no I hope everybody you know stays safe I hope no one gets assaulted I feel bad for Berkey in a sense of like you know he does have a family and not only is this gonna affect him but it's gonna affect his family and that's something that you have to think about when you make the decision to cheat on your significant other especially when you're in that position I do think he's stupid for cheating with a reporter don't cheat know how to cheat okay I mean just don't cheat but if you do don't be stupid I think it was very stupid to mess around with a reporter I don't feel bad for nobody involved I do think that as an adult you have to take ownership and know when you send a nude it will get leaked I do not believe in revenge porn I've said that numerous times throughout this video and I'm not making light of that shout out to everybody involved make sure you guys go get registered to vote and make sure you vote all right you guys I'm gonna go Alaska's very own bear doctor. No deep down that this the moment right now never gonna